Okay, now I just have to think of what I was doing before I took a break. Um, I think we were going to your room. Which way is that, though? Is this it? This is my Trump room. It's made especially for my favorite card games. Do you want to play with me? <laughs> oh, hi. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Hooray, come on, let's sit down and play. Wait, are we actually playing real cards? Because I won't be able to do this. Let's start. I go first. Oh my god, we're actually playing real cards. What are we even playing? Are we playing poker or something? Flat us turn. Oh, it's a matching game. My turn. Um, so... I'm gonna go with this one. Fuck yeah. This is the bunny. I'll go this way. And voila! Suck it, nerd. Look at that. Probably really pissed off right now. I won. Why isn't that great for you? You weren't even that good. I was just distracted. I just let you win because I was feeling sorry for you. Isn't that right, Iglia? I'm better at card games than any Miss Smarty Pants here at. Fuck you! Fuck you, lady. I'm not even in the mood for your shit. Fuck you and your stupid doll. What are you looking at me like that for? Come on, let's do something else. Follow me. Yes, Flatta. Jesus Christ, you're an asshole. What is this? I thought you were showing me your room. Or did you mean rooms? This is where I usually drink my tea with Igliad. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> Why, thank you, miss. Yeah, fucking fantastic. Hey, miss, can I ask you a question? What is it, Mr. Pumpkin? I heard you're gonna lose to Fleta in every game you play, is it true? No. I will fucking crush her. Oh, Pumpkin, I'm flattered. I will fucking crush her. Are you hungry? Unless I don't... I'm not hungry. Just don't hate you on my favorites. Actually, try not to eat anything at all. Flatta, you are such a dick. Just drink the tea or something. What do you mean? Chubby girls always get married last. Isn't that right, Iglia? <laughs> wow. Come, let's sit. Flatta, can I ask you a question? Of course, what is it? Why are you always so mean to me? Have I done anything to upset you? Uh, no. Not really. Why do you ask? I don't know, you're just... You're always in a bad mood, so I just thought... You're not very good at thinking, are you? <laughs> but, Eglia, I made her upset. She totally does. Fuck you guys! Fleta! What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy talking to Egliette? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... Didn't mean to. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, but you did. Didn't she, Iglia? I'm so sorry, Fleta. I, I don't know what I did, but I never meant to upset you. Huh. Then how about you prove it to me? How? Show me that thing you are- No! Fuck you! I gave you the opportunity to have one. My pocket mirror. Uh-huh. Show it to me and I'll forgive you. I... Fuck off. I'm sorry, Fleta. I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's just a dumb mirror. Now hand it over. I want to see what's so special about it. You fucking... Jesus! 
Dude, come on. She's just a little shit with a doll. You just met her. Why are you care? What the fuck it? Fine. Flutter, you can have this piece of shit. Oh, shut up, Iglia. I have just as much right to hold it as she does. But even so, this pocket mirror is really ugly. Why do you even care so much about it? Are you sure this is gold? It looks really fake to me. Hey, are you listening to me? Don't just look at me like that. I'm asking you if this toy of yours is actually made of gold. It's not a toy, Fleta. Huh. Fine then. Here. You can have your toy back. And don't ever dare ignore me like that again. I'll hit you. Do you understand? Yes, Fleta. Good. Come now. Let's do something else. Fleta. I will drop kick you right in the fucking chest. God, I hate you so much. When I get the opportunity, I'm gonna fucking kill you so quick. Alright, I guess we're going to the left here. Or not. What do you got? Princess, princess, I have a big favor to ask of you. You do? What is it, pumpkin? You see, princess, my tooth fell off this morning. I really want to get a coin from the Tooth Fairy. So would you please put my tooth under my leaves? <laughs> Me? Oh no, Pumpkin. There's no way I'm going to touch your tooth. But Princess, you just want the Tooth Fairy to pay me a visit. Huh. Quit it, Pumpkin. I'm not touching your filthy tooth. But it's just a tooth. Besides, Mr. Pumpkin even asks you nicely and everything. No. Is that so? Then why don't you do it then? Gladly. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Pumpkin. I'll do it for you. You will, really. Yes. Oh, look at me. I'm so polite and kind. It's still inside my mouth. Just reach for it. Alright then. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh, look at me. I'm so much better than Fleta. I got it. Let me just put it under your leaves. And there you go. All done. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, miss. You're welcome, pumpkin. I hope you can meet the tooth fairy tonight. Me too. Thank you so much. Are you two done yet? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't waste my time. I want to go play. I'm sorry, Fleta. Oh. Alright, what's the deal here? I guess we can't go this way. I'll save once more. Okay. And sorry for missing a couple of videos here. I had a cold or something, but I was just all sniffly and not feeling good. So, I just had to wait and recover and then I can play video games. You know how it is, it's really, really detrimental. You know? He can't play the video games. It's hard work. Alright, so wait a minute. What's this place? <laughs> this is my favorite room in the whole house. I come here every night just to look at the stars and talk with Iglia. This room is beautiful, Fleta. Isn't it? Come, let's sit down and look at the stars. <laughs> yes. The sofa is so comfortable. I could fall asleep here. I sleep here all the time. Sometimes I forget to bring a blanket when I take naps, so Iglia gets one for me. Iglia really does like you. Of course. And I love her just as much as she loves me. Don't you, Iglia? See? I wish I had a friend like her. Oh, but you do. You have me and Igliet. Isn't that enough for you? I hate you, Fleta. <laughs> oh no, that's not what I meant. Somehow I just feel lonely. I feel like I've been alone for a long time now. And I don't know why. Oh, I'm 
Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you, Fleta. Huh. Well, I can assure you, you're not alone. You've never been alone, and you'll never have to be. Igliette and I have always been here for you, and will always be, right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> thank you, Fleta. Don't forget to thank Igliette, too. Oh, thank you, Igliette. <laughs> Good. Actually, I have always wanted to ask you something. Huh? You have. What is it? In which floor of my dollhouse would you like to live? What? What do you mean? Well, since you're gonna live here with me from now on, you need to know where you'll be staying, right? <laughs> or maybe we can make a whole new floor just for you. What do you think, miss? But uh, I don't know if I want to stay here. What then? Do you want to live on the second floor? That would be fine too. No, I mean I can't stay in your dollhouse with you. I have to go. Go where? I, I don't know exactly where, but I have to know who I am. <laughs> I know who you are. But uh, I can't stay here with you. What do you mean you can't stay here with us? I'm not going to let you go anywhere. Fleta. You've already found me. What else do you need? Are you really going to leave me all alone again? What do you mean? Your place is here with me. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Now that's settled, let's decide where you'll be staying. What do you think, Iglia? I don't need you telling me that. I'm just gonna fucking leave. <laughs> oh, look, miss. A shooting star. <laughs> Quick, let's make a wish. Oh, no. I didn't have time to make all the wishes I wanted. Holy shit, Fleta. What did you wish for, miss? I wished for your untimely death via cardiac arrest. I don't, it's a secret. No, oh, come on, don't be stingy. Just tell me. But you're not supposed to tell. Huh. Fine. Don't tell me if you don't want to. I'm getting tired of being here. Let's go play. But I... You're not going anywhere, miss. I've told you before. You're my friend. You belong to me and no one else. If you ever try to leave, you know what will become of you, don't you? So, let's go play. Answer me! Yes. Good, let's go. I know what will become of me. I'll just be airborne and drop kicking you right in the fucking head. Jesus. Okay, this is weird. What is this place? <laughs> Here we are. This is my playground. It's where I keep all my toys. You have so many. Obviously. I'm a princess after all. Let's go play. Come on. Jeez. This is my rocking horse. And that's the star in the couch. Here they are. Aren't they cute? You have so many. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's play. Oh, but I don't know the rules. That's alright. Higlia will explain you the rules. Because, yeah, she's not a mute or anything. Does that matter? She can just play it anyways. But I can't hear what Higlia says. Ah, uh, fine. I'll have to explain them to you myself since you're so dumb. All you have to do is catch the butterflies. The one who catches the most butterflies wins. Ah, oh, I see. Sounds fun. I'll go with the cage on the right. You go with the other cage so we can start. Holy shit. Are you ready? Fucking bring it, bitch! I'm ready for this! Look at that. 
first one's right there. I'll go first. Hey, what do you mean, flat us turn? Oh, I got you. Wow. Okay, so you got eight. Good job, Fleta. Good job, is that all you have to say? How many can you catch anyways? You don't stand a chance. I don't even know why I'm still playing with you. Oh, but she doesn't need to know that, does she? Fleta, what you want? Hurry up, it's your turn now. Alright, dude. Time to go. Oh my god, there's so many more now. There's one, two, three, fucking there, boom, get over here, I need this one, I need a couple more, there we go, perfect, oh, look, one more, and I think that's all of them actually, cool, I kicked your ass, you win, you winner, I won. Fucking suck it, nerd. That was uncalled for. You're a cheater. That's what you are. But I'm a princess. I shouldn't let something like this bring me down. <laughs> we'll just pretend like you won. I'll let this one slide just for you, miss. But I did win. Sure you did. <laughs> if you want to prove to me you're not a lying cheater... And you have to win at hide and seek, fair and square. Hi. Alright, fine. Let's do it. Not that you'll ever win anyways. I'll go first. You stay here and count to ten while I go hide. Alright, <laughs> cool. You'll never find me. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna catch more butterflies. Oh, I can't. Guys, you little butterflies, I'm so sorry. She was such a dick to you, she just knocked over your cage and just was an asshole. Alright, let's find more pumpkin charms. I know there will be a few. I guarantee you. Where is it? What about I here? Nope. Okay, uh, squeaks. Did that just... That's so weird. Why is it... Changing in shade there. It's like some kind of weird shadowed glitch. Nothing there. Damn it, dude. I could have sworn there would be, like, charms in here. I guess not. Okay, whatever. We'll go find Niglia now and Fleta. Alright, pumpkins. Where, where are you? Tell me everything. Oh, I'll just go talk to what's her name. Oh. Here's a diary. 12 4 1862. Dear diary, today my friend Claire that worked in the kitchen disappeared, and no one will tell me where she is. I wonder if she's still playing hide and seek since yesterday. That'd be terrible. She must be hungry. Too bad I want to invite her for a picnic tomorrow. 13 4. 1862. Dear Diary, I wish I had a twin sister instead. That way we could play every day. Today was really sunny, so I tried to play with Mother, but she spends too much time in her room and doesn't talk to me as much as she used to. I wonder if she's sad because Father is away. 23-4-1862. Dear Diary, I wish we didn't live away from town. I never have any girls to play with, and brother spends too much time writing on his own. He won't let me read what he writes either. Maybe he would play with me if I were a boy. I hope father brings me that very pretty doll he said he would buy on his trip. I think I will call her Claire, just like my friend. 24-4-1862 Dear Diary, Today my tutor fell ill during class. And what brother said was a heart attack. I wonder if he'll be alright, because he wasn't moving very much after the doctor came to visit. I'm glad class ended early, so I could go play in the garden, but it started raining, so I had to stay inside. It was really boring, so I decided to go into mother's room, because she isn't there anymore. I don't like mother. 24-4-1862 
254-1862. Father brought me a very beautiful doll. Her name is Igliette, and we have been friends for a long time now. She likes the same tea and sweets as me. I will never let my brother touch her. I'm sure I'll break her on purpose. Igliette doesn't like boys either because they're brutes. It's so obvious father is a boy, because he's gonna go into the war again. I don't understand them. 284-1862 Being with Igliette is really fun. I never feel alone when I'm with her. She always tells me very pretty stories too. My favorite story is about that time when Igliette had to choose the best dancers in the kingdom. She said they were very good dancers and were very elegant. The fox even had a red dress. Igliette said she would teach me how to dance tomorrow too. I can't wait. I love Igliette. 29-4-1862 Today was a really bad day. I hated it because it was raining. The story Iglia told me was very stupid. It was about some witches that went to a forest to pick berries. That sounds so boring. I bet they tasted like dirt. I think they played with magic, but I don't care. I didn't like the story. It was so stupid. I hated it. 3-5-1862 My favorite color is pink. Igliette likes pink very much too. When my eyes turn pink, I will play dress up with Igliette. And we will only wear pink dresses. But I will have to cut my hair because it's too long. And I like it shorter. Whose diary is this? Fucking take a guess. Alright. I guess we're going upstairs. I shouldn't go in there. Okay, maybe not. So help me God. Let's just fucking do this. Pumpkins, don't lie to me. I want to know where she is. Did you talk to me? Alright, apparently not. Nope, not there either. Is it a nice day today, Miss Pumpkin? Why, yes it is, Mr. Pumpkin. Amazing. I would do anything to receive Princess Fleta's good graces. I bet you would. You ask, yes, sir. Alright, so Pumpkin, tell me. I love sunbathing. The warm sunlight always makes me feel at home. Good. I'm glad you're happy. You, talk to me. Okay then. Oh, hell yeah. Pumpkin charms. Where am I going exactly? No, nope, you don't want to talk either. I can't even go outside. Where the, where the hell am I going? Damn it, Fleta. Fucking punk. Where did you go? I'll go up to the room with the mirrors. I'll ask him. You. Mirror. Where is she? Okay. What about this one? Damn it. Oh, fuck. I swear to God, Fleta. I swear to God. Hell, there you are. Holy shit, I'm a moron. Ha, huh, there you are. Huh, took you long enough. I'm sorry. I'll show you how to look for someone. I'll go back to the playground. You stay and hide. But at least try a little harder. You're really bad at playing. I'm not that bad. Oh, is that so? <laughs> I'll give you a hard a head. T oh, fuck. I'll give you a head start then, miss. I will count to 30 so you have some time to hide. Is that all right? Really? Yeah, really. I'll be going now, so do your best, all right. <laughs> okay. Um, I have no idea where to go. Where the fuck am I going? Where is the best place to hide? 
I need to know. Go in the attic. If that was probably the best. I, oh my god, I don't know where I'm going. Holy shit! Holy shit, I don't like this. Oh, oh shit. Mutter. What the fuck is going on? Acquired something that I can't pronounce. I am writing to you this letter on my deathbed in order to cleanse myself of my own demons. I don't have much time left, nor do I have the right to bind you to my rules any longer. Unfortunately, my sins have not become your burden. Mother will not be able to accompany her her little girl on a painful journey, but please, do not doubt these feelings I harbor for you, my precious children. The rest of the letter is completely scratched out. Oh shit. What are you doing here? Fleta, I'm sorry, I just, I asked you what you're doing here. Apparently fucking up. Answer me. Nothing, I just... You just what? I told you, I want you to stay here with me. To be my friend and live in my home with me. But all you care about are those selfish lies. I hate lies. I hate lies. But Fleta, you're coming with me, miss. To the place where ill-behaved girls belong. You've been a bad friend, miss. Fleta, don't leave me here. Don't worry. I'll come visit you once in a while to see how you're doing. <laughs> Goodbye, miss. Fleta, no! Bad Fleta!